Hello everybody, welcome back to my channel. This is Laura. I hope everybody's doing okay. We're gonna start off this week with some great Dollar Tree finds. So grab a snack, grab a drink. If you enjoy the content, please give us a thumbs up. Leave a comment down below. Go follow me on Facebook and Instagram at Virtual Kitchen with Laura. And don't forget to share with family and friends. All right guys, let's go ahead and jump on in. Okay, I am gonna start with the food items that I found. Uh, this is not a large haul today, guys. It's just something a little small, but some good finds. I am going to start with the food. I did find these two instant oatmeal by Autumn Mills. This one is uh, apple and cinnamon, and this one is maple and brown sugar. And I did have a packet of this this morning. They do come six packets six 1.5 one ounce packets and it was very good guys the flavor was very good i'm not normally an instant oatmeal type of person but because they're normally just too sweet but this one was not bad it was actually very good and then i just add my my raisins or pecans or whatever i want to add and that's a good buy for one dollar and then i found this kingford lemon pepper all-purpose seasoning caribbean citrus I don't think this is new to the Dollar Tree, but I love to have the lemon pepper flavoring for chicken, for salad dressings, for all kinds of stuff. It's really good. And this is a 3.5 ounce container, so I thought it was pretty good. And for me, for the score of the day, I finally found the Olive Garden Signature Italian Dressing. Three single cups. You get three 1.7 ounce servings in each box i love this dressing i know that if you're familiar with this you know that this is delicious and it's great for on the go if you're going back to work and packing your lunch i mean uh 33 cents that's not bad if you stop at this grocery store and buy one it's going to be more than 33 cents i'm pretty sure let me open it so you can see the the serving size and there it is i hope you can see that I know my lighting is not that great sometimes. To my left, there's a big window and sometimes it gets cloudy. So please bear with me, guys. I'm trying my very best. Okay, so here we go. Two of these. And that was the end of the food. I'm going to jump on into the candy. In the candy section, I was already checking out and I saw these on in candy rack there. So I did get three of these. These are, let me read it as I show you. And these are just the Canels chewing gum and they come in cherry, banana, grape, and apple. Uh, normally they have like the pink, the red, the purple. These flavors are new to this packaging and I love these. I've tried them before. So I did pick up three and then I found these Mamba Sour Fruit Chews and it comes with orange, lemon, raspberry, and strawberry. And anything fruit flavor to me is delicious. So. I'll give these a try and I'll let y'all know. And then I just got another bag of strawberry watermelon bubble gum, guys. Y'all know my addiction to bubble gum. Okay, something new that I was excited to try. This is the Anastasia Taste of Paradise Coconut Patties. And they are minis, creamy coconut covered in a rich dark chocolate coating bite size. I have never seen this at my Dollar Tree. And I'm gonna open it to see if they are individually wrapped. It doesn't say, yes they are. Okay, and it looks like this, check this out. Very interesting, and the back is solid. So it's just like a little square with coconut. I'm pretty sure I'm gonna like these. I know that it's with dark chocolate. So I will give this a try and let y'all know. So that's what it looks like. I think that was it for all the food and candy section. Okay. I hit the craft section, guys, and I found these oblong metal galvanized sign. I'm going to be making some for my channel, and I thought, wow, these are great. And they did have a whole bunch of them in my Dollar Tree. They had just put them out, so they had a whole bunch. And I also picked up these ones, I got three of these as well, that look like bottle caps. So I thought that was pretty interesting. I have my niece Gina making me a sign for these for my channel, so I will post a picture hopefully if I have it by then. So I did pick up three of these, and the last sign that I got, the galvanized black, was this hashtag. Everybody uses a hashtag these days, so I can't miss out on that one. And then the holiday signs, I did find the little truck, which is always one of my faves, the 
God Bless America and then this one that says welcome and I'm going to be making a wreath with one of these I don't know which one yet but I thought they're pretty nice okay and today in the gift bag section I only got two I just got two of these I'm going to show you one at a time these are the ones with the birthday candles it says make a wish and the sides have little flowers and the candles here it's like a 3D effect, it's got the little pop-up behind it. I thought they were really pretty because of the brown bag and then the pots of color here with the candles. So I thought that was pretty nice and simple. And this one, of course, I loved it. It says celebrate. Let's see what it has on the side. And it has the dots on the side. Very pretty. And it says celebrate. And this is also the 3D pop-up. But just so you know, this has glitter here. And the back is plain matte. It does not have any glitter. In the beauty section this time, I didn't find too much stuff. They, they just had the, the store was a total mess that day that I went. I was getting overwhelmed just being there with all the trash they had in the aisles and stuff. So I had to leave. I didn't stick around for that. But I did find these new scrunchies with little ruffles on the side. This one has a black with silver and a white with silver. You know, they stretch out pretty good. And this one has the black with the tan and the black with the silver. I thought these were cute, great stocking stuffers. And then I did end up finding the Revlon Flash in these two colors. Let me see what color this one is. This is 21 Biscuit and this one is 31 Tiramisu. So this is the Tiramisu here and the Biscuit here. And these are kind of dark for me, but what I do is I like to use them for contouring. So this is going to actually work out for me. And with the nails that I had got on my previous video, I didn't find any glue. Well, now I found the, the Kiss uh, Precision Nail Glue Bonds in Seconds. I have heard very good things about this glue. And the last few things that I found in the beauty section was this Wet n Wild Ruby Heat Liquid Cat Soup. I hope you can see the color. I'm going to try real hard to bring you all in for a close-up. Okay, so I got that, and I got two of these uh, Wet n Wild cat suits in metallic lipstick. They're called metallic lipsticks. This one is 960 Honey Glaze. This one is 938A in satin sheets. They look very similar. Let me see if I can. You can see them there. This one here is a little bit brighter than this one. Very slight difference. But I do wear this color a lot, so I thought I'd pick these up. Having trouble holding things up today, guys. So anyway, those were the last three lipsticks that I found at my Dollar Tree. And on this trip, I only went to one store. So maybe that's why the variety is not so great. These two items here, they're expandable foam grips and stands. And these are just two pop sockets that I have. I thought that would be nice as stocking stuffers or for a donation pile. And really those were the only ones that I found. This one has little palm trees and this one has of course the pink check. And there's really not much to say about these. And some stuff that I found at the, in the stationery aisle. The things to do, this is a magnetic planner and it is all magnetic in the back. And then it has the things to do with your days of the week. Your, I guess you can just highlight what's important to you and your family for that day of the week. Hang it on the refrigerator or somewhere on the way out the door so people can see it. And it does come with its own little marker down here. And I just thought that the cactus were really cute. So I picked that up. And I also found my weekly list. Week of, and this is a weekly planner pad. And it says Monday through Friday. I thought that was pretty cool and it does come with 30 sheets so just to keep on top of your desk again to highlight what you have or a meal plan write down your meals for the week that would be great for this and this way everybody knows what they're having and then of course I did get some list pads I did find this one uh, by Jot these are 60 sheets it does have a grid line here to tear it off it says today, not today, and then just this uh, one at the top that's larger. I thought that was pretty nice. The colors are great. And then I found this, uh, of course, another Jot product. I found this one. I'm going to take it out because I can't read what it says. It is a magnetic backing. It says bunches to do with the bananas. I thought that was cute. 
and the last one I found another jot 60 page magnetic list pad and I just thought this one was pretty with the flowers okay guys that's it for the oh no it's not sorry I have stuff all over this table I don't know what I've showed or not okay I did find some markers some highlighters these are the jot for dual tip assorted it has the bullet tip and the chisel tip in these pastel colors I don't think they've put these out before and I thought they'd come in handy. I love to have different color highlighters so that I know what I'm doing and color coordinate things. So I thought those were pretty cool. So I'll give them a try and let you know what I think. And then I found, I think this was the highlight of the whole, of the whole trip that day. I did find these ink brush markers, brush tip, great for hand lettering and calligraphy. So you get three with assorted colors and as you can see, they did have only these two packages at my store. What a great product guys. These are so expensive if you buy them at the office supply or on Amazon. So if you know anybody who's doing letter writing or calligraphy, these are really good for that. Even just to design stuff, just to write on stuff. These are really, really nice products. Okay, we have come to the last of our little haul here. We have a couple of more products. I did find this right on me. I'm a chalkboard. But I have some little girl in mind for this. I think they will love it. It is just called the wall decor. I thought it was really cute. So they can just write their little messages to themselves or whatever here. I thought that was really nice. And the last thing I'm going to share with you today are the stickers. I was so excited. I finally found the puff stickers that everybody's been hauling. These are the cutest puff stickers I have ever seen. So I did get these, the little elephants. I couldn't find anything else and I was so disappointed. That's all they had was the little elephant, so I just grabbed them. And then I found these. These are pop, they're calling them pop-up stickers. But I thought they was so cute. Look at that, the hearts, the llama, the rainbow, and the cactus. Look at that, guys, how cute. And that's all I was able to find for the stickers. So I hope you enjoyed the video, guys. And the last thing I got is this bucket. I needed some, I'm going to be doing a Father's Day basket, so stay tuned for that. They carry these all the time in white and black, and they come in so handy. So I'm going to use this for a basket. And that concludes our video today. I hope you enjoyed it. I really enjoy bringing you these videos. Don't forget to share with family and friends. I'll talk to y'all later, guys. Bye.